it's me again, Crazy Bag Lady. So it's Tuesday morning. I've been up since quarter past five. Do you know why I've been up since quarter past five? In fact, my mum would like roll my eyes and say it's absolutely ridiculous. I've been up since quarter past five to get a Tesco Christmas delivery slot. <laughs> it's so stupid, isn't it? It's so stupid. So I woke up at quarter, I set my alarm because um, I've done this for many years now. So the slots used to go live at like midnight, but then they changed it to like a morning thing. So the slots go live from 6 a.m. But you kind of have to get on the website to or on the app to like secure your place in the queue. So I was awake at quarter past five, logged on. It let me look at normal stuff and then it closed itself down at quarter to six. It put you into like a waiting thing. It went live at six and then it said you have 35 minutes to wait. And I got through about half past six and got a slot. So I've got my Christmas delivery slot. I can't even believe that we're fast approaching Christmas. It's freaking me out. In my head, it still feels like summertime. And it's like, how did that happen? So anyway, Christmas slot done. Check. Long day. Check. I feel like an absolute zombie. I don't even know what planet I'm on today. Oh, I feel horrible. So weather, same as it has been the rest of the week, just weird and dull and horrible. Morning me, beautiful Flora, Pat Peggy, little Peggy friends, little Bubba, uh, Freddy, Flint Sloth, Lego Lady, and Positive Potato. So big, big hugs. I know I'll probably be feeling a bit anxious and weird today because I've not had enough sleep. And I think if you don't get enough sleep, that really does not help your mental health at all. So I'm quite sort of naughty for doing that and never get enough sleep. And today I definitely hadn't have a little bit, haven't had enough. So calendar of the day. We've got, in fact, we need to order our calendars for next year as well. Does anybody recommend one yet? So, Tuesday, who inspires you and why? Who does inspire you? I don't really know. Um, and it's bonfire night. But you'd think we'd already had bonfire night because there's been that many blooming fireworks going off. It's been absolutely ridiculous. So, is there any real bonfires tonight or have they already all happened? I don't really know. So, don't worry, be happy. Um, oh, what does that say? Uh, errors are volatile i don't even know what that means and are the portals of discovery so i think if you make mistakes it helps you discover other things which it does so radio down baby yoda There we go. So my first job this morning, I've got to throw some clothes on and then I've got to clean my washing machine. So obviously I washed all them horrible dog beds in it yesterday. So I'm giving my washing machine a deep clean this morning. Look, Winifred, me and Winifred are going to have our words today. So I've been propping the beds up here to air them off because they don't feel quite dry. They nearly are, but I was just putting them on near the radiator to dry them off. And every time I come in here, Winifred has knocked them off and sat in them. You can't sit, no, I don't need a wash. You can't sit in it yet. You've got three other beds that are already clean. You have to wait for your favorite bed. It's nearly dry. You're not sitting in a damp bed, you'll make yourself poorly. <laughs> Literally, I've moved her three times already to stack them back up. She doesn't understand. Does she? No, she doesn't understand. Look, Winifred, I keep putting her in it. She's got two beds there, look, that are clean and fluffy. You have to wait for your favourite bed. Good things come to those who wait. Breakfast. So breakfast this morning. I've got one Weetabix, chopped, no, not chopped, blueberries and cornflakes, my friends. So I'll have a quick breakfast. Then I need to wipe out the machine and scrub the drawer and get it put on like a hot wash. Oh, where have you all gone? Right, there you go, Winifred. Oh, you're there, Florence. There you were. There you go. There you go, Winnie. There you go. Come in. Do you want to take Dolly? Not bothered. No. Okay. When is so? Oh. I think when is so kin. <laughs> oh. Winnie Fred, you better be nearly dry soon. You better be dry soon, my dear. Oh. <laughs> Winnie Fred. <laughs> Winnie Fred, it's damp. <laughs> Here we are. Very tired little face. So tired. <laughs> so it is about half past ten. I've put my little fairy lights out. So I've been on the phone to my mum. Look, they flicker. They've got loads of different settings. Um, it's such a dull day, and I thought, oh, put them out. So I had some on there last year, and then 
I used the ones from on here and then I put them in the sitting room so I didn't have any in here. And now it's dark nights. It's nice. I like it night to have them on there. It's very really pretty. Um, so I've washed my washing machine. So I was on the phone to my mum. I was multitasking. So I scrubbed the drawer out. I scrubbed the drum and then I put on a hot wash. So the, the quickest hot wash, the quickest 60 degree wash on my washing machine is an hour and 40 minutes, which is absolutely bonkers. So that's gone on a hot wash. That's nearly done, I think. It's got about 20 minutes left or something. And then I'm gonna give it another wipe out. I need to hoover out my tumble dryer because obviously it's got bits in it for yesterday for cleaning the dog beds. Um, and lots of other jobs too. And I've been doing my jigsaw as well while I was talking to my mum. I've multitasked books so i've just finished this one um i bought this one from chair shop it's not a library one um i think it must be quite old because it had fax machines in it which obviously we've not had fax machines really for a while um so it must be quite old but it was really really good so it was like a lady has an affair and stuff and yeah very very interesting and it had quite a nice ending so i would actually recommend it it's really nice i'm gonna let my mum borrow it um and then I'll give it my friend, but I did like it. It was really good. And then I've started this one. I started it last night. So this is a library one. Um, and so far it was quite interesting. I just wanted to read something a little bit different. Um, and I do like the olden day books. So I'm hoping it's really good. But obviously I'll keep you posted. Mm, so I feel like I need a bit of a clear out. So I have bought a couple of jumpers off Vinted that I'm going to try on. Um, obviously I've got my new slippers and I'll put them on in a minute because my feet are cold um, and then I did buy some new pyjamas so I kind of feel like I perhaps need a bit of pyjama clear out and stuff and yeah I don't I, I still feel like I've got too much stuff so I feel like I just need a good declutter coffee time so while we're faffing and sorting coffee got my new slippers on and my washing machine's just finished so I need to rewipe that out so major scrub part two so I've scrubbed it all again and this time I've chucked a load of these in it. I'm sure one of my subscribers told me about these. Um, so I've chucked loads of soda crystals in it to give it a damn good wash through. Fingers crossed it'll clean it up. Mm, back to sorting. So some stuff like I bought this gorgeous little jumpsuit from the vintage shop. Obviously I didn't get a chance to wear it because it's, we suddenly didn't have a summer. So I think I'm going to wash it and put it away for uh, next summer. Fingers crossed. Mm. So I'll just sort of try a few bits on um so i've got this cardigan never worn it absolutely beautiful it is so sparkly and has the most amazing buttons oh it's just absolutely gorgeous so i was actually thinking probably might be able to wear this for christmas like christmas day or something um it's very very sparkly and just cute and it's pink i kind of match my interior <laughs> so i bought this one in the summer it was absolutely boiling hot and i got this from charge shop and it's so cute like the color is just adorable it's like a lovely i don't know like a peachy pinky sort of color like a dark pink i don't really know a bit orangey but it's so cute i was thinking about parting with it and i've tried it on thought oh no it's got these really lovely like poofy sleeves and yeah it's really cute mm. trousers from vinted actually better than the ones i actually bought from zara that i sent back um they're slightly a little bit big um and i thought you'd be able to tighten them up with this but you can't it's just for like decoration they actually fasten up at the side again zara sizing <laughs> these are a size large and they're a little bit big the ones that i ordered directly from zara the other day were also a size large and i could only just fasten them up who knows um i thought they were slightly a bit long but I think I'll just get away with it. So they're actually not on the floor. Um, I know this is the fashion to have them sort of long and, and baggy. And my brown boots actually look a bit like Uggs. Oh, they're not Uggs. Oh, they're just little brown ankle boots. But when they've got the trousers over them, they actually look a bit like as if you've got little Uggs on or whatever's trendy. So quite nice. Um, and it's nice when they're a bit looser. You can breathe. Yay! Hmm. Vintage purchase number two. So this is a H&M hoodie. Um, and it is so soft, I can't even tell you. It's like fleecy, like pajama, not pajama, like fleecy stuff. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be for like loungewear or whether you could actually wear it out, but I suppose on a cold day, you really wouldn't care. It feels so nice. And I think you'd probably get away with it with these trousers as well. If you had like a blazer or something o over it. Oh, it's so soft and it's got like a little drawstring waist so you can tighten it up. 
definitely doing better off Vinted than I was off Zara and River Island. And number three, Vinted Purchase. I need stuff in it. I absolutely love it. So Vinted, <laughs> Vintage Purchase number three is again a Zara jumper. So I do love Zara, but I didn't love the new Zara stuff that I bought. So it's a jumper and it's got slitty gaps in the arms and you can also do that. So it's like a cape if you like. Look how cool it is. I mean, I paid about... I don't know if it's about 25 or 30 pounds, so it wasn't the cheapest thing in the world. But I think when these first came out, so I'm sure they were like 50 pounds, 60 pounds. They were quite expensive when they were new because I can remember looking at them thinking I wouldn't pay that for a jumper. Um, it's really nice. So obviously, it'd be perfect if you did go out in it because obviously it sort of can be like this, and then you can like get a bit hot and then you can pop your arms out. Ta -da! So that was my three little vintage purchases and I really love them all. Oh, look what I've got for my dinner. I've got uh, porridge. <laughs> so it's got like 200 odd calories in, but it says it gives you energy. I thought, well, I need a bit of that to this afternoon. A bit of energy and nutrients and fills you up and stuff. So that's what we've got for dinner, but I'm just gonna wait for it to cool down. She thinks I can't see her. What have you done? You've knocked the whole lot off the radiator, haven't you? The whole lot, you are now sat on top of four dog beds. You are not Princess and the Pea. You do not need four mattresses. I've given up. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. Dinner. So there's my dinner. My porridge is cooled down, my coffee's cooled down, and I've chucked a little bit of banana in it. Off to enjoy it and do a little bit of jigsaw. Lipstick of the day. I've mixed two together. I don't know whether it really worked or not, but I think it did. So we've got on Tawny Triumph and Feisty Fawn. And it gives you like a real autumn-y like, like burgundy sort of colour. It's really nice. Watch my nails. It's lovely. Oh, and I've got my earrings in. So these are the earrings I got from Accessorize. Um, obviously I ordered a silver pair that were completely missing. And these ones, the little stalk was bent. I managed to re-bend it um, so that I can get them in my ears. Aren't they adorable? They're £10. They're definitely worth it. They are so nice. But if you're going to get some, go in the shop and buy them. Because if they come online uh, in the post, they're probably going to be bent. But they're really cute. I really, really like them. So if you like the bow fashion, but you feel like you don't suit bows, you can have little bow earrings. It's so cute. Uh, right, anyway, we need to go. We're going to try shop. Oh, I'm going to favourite bric a because I need to come fetch some... Like, see a better bread stuff to make some fake pizzas with tea and some salads. So I thought, if I go to my favourite brick about, there's a co-op next to it. So, if I can go to the co get the bits and go there as well. Let's go. Right, and away we go. I'll see you in a bit, little dolly. We'll take for a walk when I get back. Let's go. Press that tip one. Yep, yep, yep. And then that's it. Try and take the test box. Don't forget your card. Oh, wow. Oh, but they were nice. But they were dear when they were new. <laughs> they were.
Back in the car. I got a star. It was 50p. <laughs> so excited. I really found this some stars this year. I really wanted just a white one, but it's got a bit of a pattern on it, but it was 50p. Oh, how exciting. Right, we need to go home. I'm home. And the queen of beds has not moved. <laughs> it's so funny. She's like, if I just keep still, she won't notice that I'm sat here. I don't even know if the dam. I'm sure they're near enough dry, but she's sat on about. What you sat on about four beds? I bet it's extremely comfortable, isn't it? But I'm not leaving it like that. You can have it till tea time, and then I'm spreading them out again. <laughs> Look at her. Okay, <coughs> it's quarter to three. We're going for a quick walk, aren't we? Florence didn't really want to come, and Winifred's living her life. <coughs> living her best life in that bed. So it's just me and you. Don't be shouting at anybody. No, keep quiet. <laughs> mm, that's not keeping quiet, is it? No, that's not keeping quiet. Shush, you're too noisy.
I'm home, queen of beds, still in a bed. Um, and my neighbour rang me on the way back, so not Pat, but my other neighbour that makes things. She's made some bonfire toffee, homemade bonfire toffee, and it's still warm. Oh, I've just got to brace it up, just have to like put it in a bag and like bang it. Oh, it's still warm. How absolutely delicious is that? Oh, a lady's just been round. So my husband rescued a lady the other day in his little recovery truck um, and he left his torch in it. So she's just been round to return his torch and she said to me, your husband is like an absolute angel. She said, I'm sure he's got angel dust sprinkled on him because he rescued her because the RSC didn't turn up and she was on her own. Um, and my husband rescued her in a car and brought her home. And she said, I'm sure your husband's got angel dust sprinkled on him. Oh, what a lovely thing to say i said yeah that's lovely i said but he's never here <laughs> he's always out angeling somebody else <laughs> bless but what a lovely thing to say about somebody so i've done my tea prep so tea time we've got to see better like peachy stuff so i've weighed all mine out and then i've bought these <gasps> i bought them from co-op they're only like one pound something oh my gosh me and ruby have just tested one they are absolutely delicious oh, i can't I can't even explain how nice they are, but I need to go back and get some more and put some away for Christmas time. They are absolutely gorgeous. My mum's going to love them, so I've definitely got to get my mum a box. <gasps> and they're not that bad in calories, so for 25 grams, I think they're about 120 calories. So I think we'll have some with, with our pizza tonight. They are so tasty, honestly. And guess what? Queen of Beds is still on the pile of beds. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my tea. Oh, delicious. I've got my little pizza things I made, lots of salad. 25 grams of new crystings, and I quite have speaks from mouth water in that much. After I enjoy it, it's delicious. Oh, my tea was absolutely <laughs> delicious. Oh, it was so nice. Honestly, I wish I could send you all something. It was delicious. Right, Florence, you've got some leftover chicken. Oh, lovely, lovely. Winifred? Bit of leftover chicken, I'll see you out your bed at long last. There you go. Oh, last but not least, little Dolly. Come on, sweetheart. There you go. What did I buy today? Ta -da! A real diamond bracelet. Not. <laughs> so I bought this beautiful little sparkly bracelet. Um, it was £3. It was very, very pretty. Um, and it actually fastened really nice. And I just thought we found I'm having it. Beautiful. So that was what we bought today. Oh, and that must start. Mm, there's a few fireworks going off. Not loads, just a few. Who needs fireworks when you've got my beautiful lights on there? Ta-da! They were a bargain for six pounds. I've got so many different settings, it's lovely. Oh, you're sitting comfortably. I believe in you. Right, are you ready? Turn a con into a can and turn your dreams into plans. That's good. Um, once you choose hope, anything's possible. Oh, his life story's coming out, isn't it? Oh, it's so sad. I loved him, Christopher Reeve, he was Superman. Um, I grew up watching him in Superman, I thought it was amazing and then obviously he had that terrible riding accident and then he got paralysed and, and he still carried on, he was a real inspiration, bless him. Right, it is, I'm going to love you and leave you, I can see a few flashes in the sky but not many, but it is actually bonfire night so you do understand it tonight, I can hear him banging though, Ooh. I'm top. I was going to try and show you some, but I think in the distance, I don't think you'll see them. So anyway, my dears, many thanks for joining me again today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Obviously, we did fit in a bit of charity shopping, cleaning all the washing machines. So that's another job well done. So if you do enjoy just a genuine bit of real life, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. My little label shop's down below. It's no. all down below. You've been sprinkled with angel dust, according to that lady. <laughs> uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.